Hi there, Nate Yurandi, Orion Training Systems, Team Sky, back in the news, albeit for all the wrong reasons. I'm sure you've heard by now the uh, uh, hack into the WADA database by Fancy Bears, love that name, and the subsequent leaking of information around TUEs, therapeutic use exemptions for uh, medications that are typically on the WADA banned list. Um, in certain circumstances, uh, not only by cyclists, but by uh, a bevy of athletes. Um, in particular, for, for the cycling world, that would be Chris Froome and Bradley Wiggins. Now, the latter is, is a bit more under the microscope because of how outspoken he was in his uh, book, which came out, I believe, in late 2012, early 2013, um, about uh, how anti-needle his policy was how he was brought up within the anti-needle culture, and whenever a needle was uh, uh, in view, people, you know, freaked out a little bit. Is like, why is that here? Um, interesting then that it is very clear that that Wiggins received some uh, steroids, cortisone, and some others to help relieve what appear to be asthmatic type symptoms, or at least prevent the onset of of asthmatic type symptoms. The challenge here is that when you look at the medical evidence, even when your breathing capacity is severely constrained by as much as, say, 50%, the oral administration of anti-asthmatic or anti-hay fever type of medicines will do the trick. So there's no reason to inject steroids of any kind even as a preventative measure, especially as a preventative measure. It's just, there's no rationality to it. It's just something that's always been done and nobody's willing to question that. What I also find interesting are those who vilified Lance Armstrong, justifiably so, uh, such as David Walsh. Um, they were strong proponents of Team Sky. And even now, they're backpedaling a little bit but really not much from their pro-sky stance. So there's another layer here that is clearly drawn across nationalistic lines. You know, the U.S. press was largely uh, protecting Lance Armstrong, while Walsh um, and Paul Kimmage and others were, were attacking him. Um, now the shoe's on the other foot, right? You've got Walsh, who is still largely protecting Sky, even though it's very clear that that uh, his uh, support really shouldn't hold any water. What this boils down to to me is that in the current state of athletics, there is no way to win against a world-class stacked field while being clean. It's an anomaly if you do so. It's not the rule. It's not about marginal gains. It's not about doing a half percent or one percent more than what the competition's doing. They're all doing it. There's, there's, there are um, very talented athletes of every nationality, every part of the world. There's smart, intelligent doctors uh, across the world. There are smart, intelligent coaches across the world. There isn't one coach, one athlete, one doctor who is head and shoulders above the rest. Not when you get to that tip of the pyramid in terms of athletic competition. So at this point, I don't care if it's cycling, running, track and field, swimming, you name it, any uh, cross-country skiing. If it's an endurance sport and you're winning and trouncing the competition... You're not doing it cleanly. You're not doing it ethically. So I'll leave you with that. If you have any comments, as always, leave them below or leave them on the website or wherever you see this video posted and would love to keep the commentary going. In the meantime, happy training.